Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the color pink. Much like the other videos in this mini series all about classic color combinations, I want to highlight the color pink, talk about some of the things that it means, some of the meaning behind it in our general consciousness, and then also some of the top colors that I like to pair with pink. It's a color that I'm just now adding into my wardrobe as I'm expanding my color palette and I'm really loving it. So hopefully this can give you some some inspiration for your own wardrobe. So let's get started. Let's start off with what the color pink represents. So before I did any research, I thought to myself, what do I feel when I look at the color pink? What kind of emotions am I experiencing? So I thought traditional femininity, girliness, this idea of nurturing and softness. I thought springtime, because I always think of spring, it's my favorite season. And then I also thought just this general feeling of romance, but softer romance. And when I look looked it up, that is apparently all accurate. That is what pink actually represents. And that comes down to the fact that pink is a combination of red and white, obviously. So when you have a combination like that, you're bringing in those feelings from each color. So red representing passion and intensity and white representing purity and innocence, they balance each other out in a really beautiful way. And you can use that to suit what kind of pink you might like and the feelings you want to evoke for your own wardrobe. So a more intense pink will have more of those intense feelings that you get from red and a lighter pink will have more of the feelings you get from white. So I've been using that to my own advantage as I've been expanding my own color palette. So the first combination I want to talk about is pink and blue. I love blue so much, as you know. I think it's probably my favorite color, specifically that light blue, kind of that Wedgwood or Robin's egg blue. I love it so much. And I think that every shade of blue goes really beautifully with pink. There's something about the two that go so well together, probably because blue can make me feel really calm. It can also make me feel really strong and a little bit sturdy. And I think that comes down to maybe the, the blue reminding me of the ocean and the ocean can be really relaxing or really chaotic depending on the weather. So I think that by pairing different shades of blue with your pink, you can either incorporate that lightness or the more seriousness. So light blue, mid blue, and navy. Oh my gosh, every single one of them looks so good with pink. And I truly think every shade of pink. And it's something that I've really been enjoying since I've been adding more pink into my wardrobe. And I think that by balancing the two of them, I get a palette that is very, very classic, but still feels current. And I think serves as a perfect base for my pearls, my mother of pearl and the, the lighter accessories. Maybe you could even do like an opal or a crystal. And I think it's just so gorgeous. It's a really great combination in my opinion. Now, since we know that pink is a combination of red and white, I think you can obviously wear either of those colors with pink. So let's talk about white first. Much like I discussed in my green video, I love pure white or an off-white, whichever your preference is, to bring in some softness, some lightness, and that purity feeling. It feels very clean. So I think that by pairing that with pink, it's a match made in heaven, and it automatically feels very, very spring appropriate. But I think that if you take pink and maybe a pink sweater and wear it with white pants and light colored boots, how gorgeous would that be? And maybe a light coat. I think that combination is out of this world and something that you can change up depending on the fabrics and the intensity of those fabrics and wear it truly any time of the year. I really, really love it. And then of course, you can always do pink and red together. And I think that this combination brings out that undercurrent of passion and intensity that pink has and really amplifies it. So this always feels very, very passionate to me, very romantic. And you can choose either really aggressive red and pink or a softer versions of both of them to elicit different feelings and make it feel very, very uh, almost like holiday or kind of romantic springtime. So I think this is more versatile than it looks like. And it's a combination that I want to explore more. And I also think that pink and red when in a pattern, like a floral pattern, I think is beautiful together. And you can also do this in pops. So maybe a pink sweater, 
basic blue jeans and then sneakers or shoes that have some red in them. How beautiful would that be together? You would make it seem like you know the deliberate pairings of colors and you're making that choice, but still like it might be an afterthought. So you just threw it on and it happened to be perfect together. Similarly to pink and white, I think a pink and gray looks so good together. I really, really love gray and it's a hard color to find depending on the gray you're looking for. I know for me personally, the grays that suit me best are grays that are really light and have a lot of white added to them or really intense dark grays, like a slate gray, things that almost have blue added to them. And those are really difficult to find, but I think that anytime I see them paired with pink, it looks really beautiful. I think it adds some seriousness and sophistication to the pink. So if you're worried about feeling too juvenile in a pale pink, pairing it with gray is a really good way to wear it. It shows that you're intentional with your color choices because they go so beautifully together, but that you also want to be taken seriously. I also think it might be a good way to wear pink in the office. If you go into an office and it's a kind of a formal place, I think that pink can feel like an off-limits color, but a light pink and a slate gray or a mid gray I think looks really gorgeous and goes so, so beautifully together. Now, if we deepen that gray and make it black, we get another combination that I love. I think any accent color paired with black is always beautiful. I really like black. And the more I'm expanding my color palette, the more it is important that my accent colors go with black. I have a lot of black in my wardrobe and it's something that I always consider. So when I was expanding my palette most recently, and as I'm currently still doing it, I'm considering different shades of pink and the feelings that I get from each of those to then go with black. Black to me feels very solid. It's a great base. It's the color of my hair and my eyes are really, really, really dark brown. They're basically black. So I like the color a lot. It's never really felt super aggressive to me. And instead, I like how it pairs with pink because it eliminates that feeling of aggression from strangers as well. So I understand that for some people, black can feel really, really intense. And I think by softening it with pink, you get a really beautiful balance and one that I'm really enjoying. I talked about this next combination in my green video, but I had to include it in this one, and that is pink and green. I think that this one specifically when you have a mid or deep green and then a light pink is so beautiful. It feels really, really preppy and automatically makes me think of Southern Florida. And there's something about it that shows you love color and you want to embrace that in your wardrobe. It's very memorable. So I think a little hard to pull off for me personally, but I think that if you are someone that enjoys wearing that, that can become part of your signature that people will automatically associate with you in a really good way. Another color that I think looks really, really beautiful with pink is either purple or burgundy. I wanted to include both of these in here because I think that they're kind of the same color depending on the intensity of it. And I've talked about this in a past video, but Burgundy and maroon are often confused for each other, but they're also a really good way to start training your eye when it comes to cool colors and warm colors because burgundy is a cool color and maroon is a warm color. Quite literally, maroon comes from the word brown in French, so it's always a warmer color and burgundy is always a cooler color with purple as its undercurrent more often than not. So I think that purple and burgundy look really, really beautiful with pink because they're kind of a natural progression. It's like if you take a really rich burgundy wine and then you dilute it. The more you dilute it, you get purple and then you eventually get pink. So I think that they all go so beautifully together and I think that it's a combination that feels really, really passionate and has so much depth to it and is a color combination that I've been wanting to try more. I don't have anything that's not a top in a burgundy or a pink. All of those colors are in tops for me, but it's something that I'm really considering um, eventually adding to my wardrobe because I think how beautiful, a like a pale pink sweater and burgundy pants, oh my gosh, so gorgeous and such a different take on something for fall and winter that I think is beautiful. 
And last but not least is, of course, pink with other shades of pink. I always have to include this because I think any color worn from head to toe always looks beautiful. And specifically when it comes to pink, there's something that's a little bit hard to find when you think of pink, much like the color green. And so when you find colors that go really beautifully together, a pink sweater, pink pants, or a pink skirt, there's something that feels so custom about that and it feels as if you had that outfit made for you. So I love this. And anytime you're working on your color palette and considering accent colors to add, I really, really encourage you to slowly build your accent colors in tops and bottoms so that you have things you can wear together or apart. Because that's one thing I would love to do down the line is add a pair of pink pants that I can wear with my pink sweaters. And I think it would be so beautiful together. And I think it's something worth considering for your own closet as well. And there you have it. Those are some of my favorite colors to wear with pink. There are more classic combinations that you can hopefully consider for your own wardrobe, especially if you like pink. So I would love to know down below what colors you like to wear with pink and the type of pink that you have in your wardrobe. Do you have a softer pink or a richer vibrant pink or hot pink, neon pink? Definitely let me know. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.